Hey guys, and welcome to today's reading. I'm gonna be doing a collective reading. Um, we're gonna see what comes out. I just feel like there's a message. I just don't know what it is yet. Um, but before I get started, I wanna say thank you for all of the support, guys. All of the um, comments and the likes and the subscribes. Um, I'm really grateful for all of you and I appreciate it so much, okay? So, let's see what is the message here for the collective what is it that the angels want me to tell you let's see queen of swords reverse the emperor and the Paid the Ace of Wands. Okay, so this could have something to do with your job, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles here. And the Emperor could be somebody, um, could be a boss, could be a father figure, could be a CEO, could be a, a mature man. There's some sort of a action here with the Ace of Wands, some sort of an idea that someone had, but there is a Queen of Swords in reverse, so let's see. Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse here? What is this? Three of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Two of Swords, okay. So there is a group here, there is a group of three people. Somebody walked away though. Somebody might have walked away from a group Two of Swords. Somebody might be putting up defenses right now. You might be blocking something here. Let's see, why is the Emperor here? The Two of Pentacles. And the Sun wants to come out too. Okay, you have the Two of Pentacles, Strength in Reverse, High Priestess in Reverse, and the Sun. So somebody here was hoping that you wouldn't see something. Somebody here was hoping that you maybe wouldn't listen to your intuition or they were trying to cloud your intuition on something. This emperor with the strength in reverse, this person might feel like they're losing control over a situation. They might be trying to regain control here <clears throat> as an emperor. What's this ace of wands? The king of pentacles, death, chariot, and the two of cups. So this emperor could be a king of pentacles. This might be somebody that you had a relationship with or ha have a soulmate tie with, with the Two of Cups. There was some sort of an ending here though, with death, a complete ending. Somebody wanted to move forward. Or somebody felt like they had some sort of a new way forward after an ending with this Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Uh, okay. So tell me more. Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? Four of Coins. Why is this Queen of Swords in reverse? This is about, it's a King of Swords and Temperance. So it could be an, an air sign. Could also be a Sagittarius with Temperance. Somebody might have lied about something here why is this three of cups here they're coming out in clumps today here you got the ace of wands again so there's a group here that thought that they would be getting some sort of victory over a situation by making someone an offer or presenting a new idea 
or they thought they had a new plan of action that would be bringing them in some sort of victory. Who is this group, though? Who is this group? Page of Pentacles. Okay, it could have something to do with an investment. Confirmation. Or it could be something that you're doing, okay? Maybe you are starting a new business with the Page of Pentacles. You are investing into something new. So there's a group here that might have then wanted to come towards you or they wanted to make some sort of an investment. They wanted to... Hmm. Somebody wanted to bring someone an offer or something. Could have come in the form of communication. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Six of Swords reverse. So you might have walked away from this. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. You might have... Did I say reverse or magician reverse? Anyways, Eight of Cups and the uh, Six of Swords. So you might have walked away from this. Whatever this was, somebody might have been trying to come towards you with some sort of an idea, Okay. I'm not getting idea though. I'm getting like a plan, like an like a step to action, like a new endeavor. Okay. So this, so somebody might have tried to come towards you here in some sort of investment. Now you walked away from this because something was manipulation. Something was an illusion. Tell me more about this manipulate. Yeah, four of cups at the bottom. So you might have rejected something. Tell me about the manipulation, this magician, the empress. The king of wands. I feel like it has, with the eight of pentacles and the empress and the page of pentacles, I feel like it has something to do with a business. Okay or work or something like that. So somebody might have tried to come towards you. Okay, what I'm also getting, cause look, you have the King of Wands here, you have the Emperor here, and then you have the King of Swords here. These are three masculine cards, okay? But they're coming out on a Queen of Swords in reverse which is a feminine energy, but it's in the reverse. So it signifies somebody that's a liar. So I'm getting catfish. Because you've got a bunch of masculine energies here and then you've got one queen of swords in reverse that's a liar. So somebody might have been trying to present themselves as a woman. So maybe there's a catfish energy here. There's a, a woman that is lying A woman that is not in the upright, a woman that is lying, and then you've got a bunch of masculine figures behind this. So it's given me catfish. Maybe that's how they decided to come towards you here with this Ace of Wands. So, but I feel like you saw through this manipulation, okay? So with the Empress, you might be a business owner, okay? You might be somebody that has um, built something for yourself and you walked away from something. You left something behind. You did not even touch it. You might, with the Magician Reverse, you might have realized that this was manipulation going on. So what is the Two of Swords? The Wheel of Fortune. Tell me more about the Two of Swords, please. The Seven of Wands. Yeah, whatever this is, you did not um, take this. You defended this. You might have sent this back to sender, returned it to sender. Whatever this was, you you stopped it, okay? You created a stalemate. You said no. You stopped it from moving forward. This is going to, um, this will pan out like positively for you here with the Wheel of Fortune because you didn't, yeah, my nose is itching. You didn't take this offer, whatever it was, you stood up to this and you sent, I feel like you sent it back. You walked away from it and you said, no, thanks. 
There was some there was some deception here with the Queen of Swords reverse and the Magician reverse. There was deception here and some sort of an offer that was made to you. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you defended yourself and you protected yourself. I'm getting you protected yourself from some sort of betrayal. Okay, that was going to get you trapped up. Eight of Swords. It came in the form of a... Yo, I'm telling you. Look at this. It came in the form of a message. Page of Wands. What it actually was was somebody trying to lie and cheat and steal, and it was a queen of swords. And the emperor, man, I can't even hold all these cards. Ah, now I get it. Look at this. This is crazy that that just all came out like that. So, yeah, de I'm definitely getting catfish, okay? Somebody wanted to betray you. Somebody was trying to figure out how they can win at all costs, okay? They might have come towards you. You're a queen of wands. What they wanted to do was get you trapped, Okay, could be this emperor here, but you protected yourself. Nine of Wands. This kid, like I said, oh, a message. They might have sent you a message. They were trying to cheat, lie, scam, steal. They were concealing their identity. They were not being who they said that they were, which was they were pretending to be a queen of swords, but actually who they were was the emperor. Can you believe this? Look at this. Okay. So there's a catfish here. You know? There's somebody pretending to be someone they're not. They're trying to um, get in your energy is what I feel. And they're pretending to be a queen of swords woman. Mm -hmm. How interesting. Oh, I just picked up the deck and the, I couldn't get the last card. Look what the last card is. Ace of swords. Nice. Okay. So what's the two of pentacles? The three of wands. Okay, so this emperor here, they were trying to figure something out here. They were trying to figure out their options with the two of pentacles. They were trying to balance something out here. What's the strength in reverse? Or actually, what were they trying to balance out? Queen of cups reverse. Something with a water sign feminine that's in the reverse, okay? That's what they were trying to balance out. They might have been working together with this person to do this. Like the two of pentacles is giving me like the catfish thing again, okay? See, they're they're pretending to they're they're pretending to be a queen of swords woman, but actually they're a man. Like Okay. <clears throat> yeah. What's the strength in reverse? Ah, look at it. It's a king of wands in the reverse. Okay, so like I said, there's so many masculines here. Now, this person is totally in their ego. This person is um, hot-tempered. I feel like they got an attitude, okay? This person is trying to regain control over a situation. They want something at all costs. They feel like they have the right to um, dominate someone's energy. They also feel like they have the right to constantly invade someone's boundaries and invade their energy. Um, they're very like power hungry and I feel like this person feels like they don't have control so they're trying to reestablish control and they're doing this by they like see red like you got king of swords masculine and then temperance next to it which could be like Maybe this is an air sign that has um, also like fire placements, could have Sagittarius placements. You've got Leo here as well. So, and Emperor is Aries. So this could be a, um, uh, maybe it's an air sign masculine, but I feel it's a masculine with like air placements and fire placements. That's what I'm getting strongly, okay? Because this person came out as the Queen of Swords in the reverse, okay? Oh, and in the upright in, in these cards. So there's something with air and fire here. This person could be a little spy, page of swords. This person watches you. They could be watching your business. Yeah, seven of pentacles on the other side. They are wa they're watching your investments. They're watching your business. They're watching whatever you do for work. They're spying on you. So if you do something online, they're watching you, okay? And they're also watching what you invest in. So if you do something online, oh, yo, look at this. The Knight of Wands, right? And, and the Eight of Pentacles. Yo, this is so crazy. Look at this. Page of Swords, Knight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, okay? And now I'm going to pull the first two cards off this deck. Page of Pentacles, uh, Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. 
Ugh, Knight of Wands, man, what is going on? I'm getting jumbled. This person, yeah, catfish energy. This person is like trying to confuse someone, okay? There's like maybe even magician reverse. Maybe this person has also done like some sort of illusion magic over you, trying to confuse you, trying to keep you from seeing the truth with the high priestess in reverse. This person might be trying to attack your intuition or your third eye so that you don't see something clearly here when they come towards you and your place of work, eight of pentacles or something that you do here to make money. And then it's literally the knight of wands and the eight of pentacles again. This person spies on you at work. They spy on what you do to make money and they might have actually come towards you here, knight of wands, which is this fire energy here, this Sagittarius emperor, um, king of wands reverse here. That's this person. They spy on you and they come towards you in your work. Yeah. So what is this person trying to regain control over? Ace of Swords. They're trying to regain control. That's what's going on here. They're trying to regain control. They're also trying to uh, come towards you with whatever this is, okay? That you do to make money. It has something to do with work. It has something to do with finances. It's what you do um, to master your craft, okay? It's what you do. It's what you put work into to make money with. Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah. Tell me about this uh, high priestess reverse, please. Three of pentacles reverse. Because you don't want to work together with this person. You don't want to have anything to do with this person. Okay, yeah, I know. So they're trying to find sneaky ways to force you to like work with them or collaborate with them or something like that. And they're hoping that you don't, you don't see through this. They're hoping that you don't um, that you don't listen to your intuition, but also, you know, you got the magician here in reverse and the high priestess in reverse. This person could really be doing like dark magic. Okay. Like energy work, like energy projections, trying to cloud. So this could be another way that they're trying to, um, manipulate someone's energy. Okay. I just, there's a weird catfish thing going on here. This person might be into like the dark arts or something. And this person, you don't want to work together with this person. You don't want to work together with this person. So they might be projecting things at you with the eight of, uh, eight of wands. Tell me about, uh, tell me more about the three of pentacles reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Seven of Cups. Yo, I'm telling you, the Seven of Cups. They're trying to cloud someone's mind. They're trying to cloud someone's thoughts. This person is trying to manipulate your mind. They're, I swear, this person is doing magic on someone's uh, crown chakra, third eye chakra. So that you don't see something. So that you don't see something when they come towards you here. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's another feminine energy and all the feminine energies are in reverse. So they could be attacking your work, your bit, yo, I just got a pinge. Okay. So this is, yeah, confirmation. Um, they could be attacking your work here. They don't want you to make money. So tell me what's the sun. The Nine of Cups, the Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords at the bottom, and the, they're going to, either they've already, they've already done this, or this is what they're planning. They're trying to bring you some sort of an offer here, okay? But what this actually is, is to betray you. Tell me more about the sun, please. 
the two of wands because they know that you are moving in a new direction, okay? They see that you're moving in a new direction and I feel like they see that you're happy with the, with the sun and the nine of cups. They see that you're happy. They see that you're content. They see that you're alone, nine of cups. You're doing something on your own, okay? And you're happy on your own. You're following your happiness and you're following um, something that brings you purpose, okay? Something that brings you fulfillment. They see you going in a new direction in your life. And now they want to what? Yeah, they want to cause pain to this. Now they want to intercept this again, okay? Oh, God. It's always the same thing with these people, right? So tell me about this Ace of Wands, please. Yeah, they see you going towards your dreams, okay? Star. They see you going towards a new beginning. You have, you're getting wishes fulfilled in your life, okay? Things are growing for you. Wish, wishes are coming true for you. You're following your destiny. Now, here's this, this person coming in, Knight of Swords. They might be coming in with communication or they're just coming in really fast. They're coming towards you really, really fast, really fast because they want to give you an offer because they just want to get in your way, okay? Judgment. They're scared of being judged here. They got a hermit energy and judgment. So tell me more about this Ace of Wands here. The Ace of Cups. There it is again. Okay. They're like, here, take my offer, please, before your dreams come true and you end up happy like the Hierophant. Okay. This person is so terrified of being under judgment. They're just trying to come towards you and ruin your life before it happens, right? So... Tell me, tell me about the two of cups. The moon and the four of swords. The moon and the four of swords. With the two of cups. This is like, oh, why am I getting something? This is getting me so, I'm getting like this weird energy of like implantation. I don't know why. It's like, implantation. This person, look at this, at night while you're sleeping, this person does, um, this person does dream magic, implantation. That's why I was getting this weird implant. It, it was so hard to describe the energy that I just got, but now that makes sense. With the moon and the four of swords, this is you sleeping in your bed at night, okay? This person does dream, this person tries to get into your dream state. That's this magic that they're doing with the Seven of Cups and the Magician Reverse, High Priestess Reverse. This person does like dream state. So if you feel like you're having weird dreams, you wake up and you have like, you had a really strange dream that you know. I mean, I can tell pretty quick if somebody's trying to manipulate my dream state, okay? Um, but this is what this person could be trying to do because they're trying to, they're trying to get into your dream state. They're sending you... They're sending you magic. They're sending you dark energy magic while you're sleeping because when you're sleeping, you're vulnerable. There's no protection there, okay? You can you can uh, do something on someone because it's like your soul leaves the body, right? When you're sleeping. Well, I mean, not really, but it can. So this person is trying to get into your dream state because they feel like that's where you're vulnerable. And this is where they're trying to implant... They're trying to implant something in your dream state. What are they trying to implant into someone's dream state here? Trust. Yo, it comes out again. Judgment and the hermit. They're trying to, they're trying, yeah, your trust in other people. They're trying to influence your judgment of others, your judgment of your inner voice. That is what they're trying to manipulate in your dream state. It's about your, the ju your judgment. 
It's about uh, you trusting other people with the Two of Cups. Your trust in other people. They're, they're, they're trying to manipulate. They're trying to implant something in your mind while you're sleeping. And it has something to do with the way that you judge others or judge situations and the way that you um, perceive things with the hermit. It's like how you perceive relationships and trusting others. So they're trying to um, make you um, more trusting, okay? They want you to trust. They want you to be like more naive, okay? They want you to be more trusting towards others. So when they come in as a catfish... You think like, oh, this looks like, this looks like a nice opportunity. Look at this. This looks nice. This looks like a soulmate. It's because they're trying to do like dark magic on you while you're sleeping. In your dream state, they're trying to infiltrate your dream state. So if you wake up and have like really weird dreams, um, <laughs> like the thing is what they're doing could be having the opposite effect on you is almost what I'm getting. So if you're having like really weird, strange dreams that you know you would never dream something like that on your own, that could be your guides and your angels trying to show you that somebody's trying to manipulate your dream state. Okay? Because dreams can um, do something. They can trigger emotions, right? Sometimes you wake up like, okay, I feel like every one of us has had a dream like that where you dream all night that your partner's like cheating on you or something like that right so that could actually not be happening but when you wake up you it felt so real that you're like disturbed all day long right so that's kind of that's kind of what um might be happening to you is that you're having disturbing dreams what this person is actually trying to do though is trying to make you have dreams that make you like more trusting, something like that. It's trying to manipulate your judgment. But you might be having disturbing dreams because your guys are trying to show you that there's somebody m messing with your dream state. Or maybe they're trying to send you disturbing dreams. Like, I'm not sure. This person is like, who knows? I'm not even sure. Is it them doing this or is this a practitioner? The devil. The Ten of Pentacles, the devil. So this is definitely something demonic. This could be like voodoo. This could be some sort of a, a, a dark practitioner. This is defi definitely the devil, okay? So they might be trying to send you pretty disturbing things here. They're definitely working with dark energy, that's for sure. They're definitely working with dark, dark, dark entities, dark magic. They could even be working with a dark practitioner or somebody that has like, I don't know, works with entities or voodoo or something like that. What's death? Page of Cups. Yeah, because they want, because when they come towards you as a page of cups, right? They want, they don't want you to see that it's a page. They don't want you to see it as something that's, you know, it's not the real deal. They don't want you to see this. So this person might know that you have like very, um, very deep intuition. They know that you can pick up on things very easily. So that's why they're trying to work on you before they come in okay there's another thing that's go been going on yeah you've got the king of cups at the bottom and the hierophant okay so there's definitely this could be a religious this could be a practitioner they're i feel like they're working with a practitioner here they might be they might be paying a practitioner to do this to you okay um there's something also about them see if you're somebody that's spiritual you are somebody that sees angel numbers a lot there's another download here they might be using, like, be careful. They might be trying to use angel numbers to confuse you. Like, they'll send messages, like, right at the angel number times. Like, 555, 444. Because maybe, I don't know, they're hoping that they entrance you with those numbers. There's something like that going on here, okay? Where they are trying to, like, um, 
they're trying to like implant themselves into your energy. 1122 as I say that. There's implant there's weird implantation going on here because they're trying to implant themselves into something that's in the 3D. So before they do that, they have to come in in the 5D because you have a connection. Confirmation. 11441 one, I'm telling you. So be aware of this, okay? Knight of Cups and the Justice here. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to make themselves look like they're a Knight of Cups, but they're actually a page. And this is what are they trying to end here with death? The Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords is back. Yeah, they're spying on you. They're trying to come towards you. Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Knight of Wands. They're trying to reach out to you and they're trying to communicate with you. This is online communication, maybe even with the Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords. They're coming towards you quickly, very quickly, but they want to look like it's like all fire and air, okay? This person is, yo, this person's all fire and air. What was I, that was, that's what I was saying at the beginning. The, with the king of uh, swords and the king of wands, this person's all fire and air. So they're very communic communicative, okay? They're very logical. They're very, very logical. They're, whatever they're doing, they're thinking about this very logically, okay? The fact that they want to come towards you with a cup, which is emotion, is what they're trying to implant in your mind where you, when you're sleeping. With the trusting, they're trying, oh, yo, okay, so this is the kind of person that has no emotions, okay? They don't have emotions. They are only air, thought, logic, thinking, okay, planning, and fire, which is their anger, their ego, their drive, their willpower, but it's like, with them, it's like dark, okay? So they're, they're all power and thought, but they're trying to come towards you in emotion. They don't have this emotion. That's why they can't come to you in the upright. Queen of Swords reverse. That's why they can't come to you in the upright. So they, they know they need to come towards you in emotion, but they don't possess this emotion. They, they, they're they only a page of cups. So that's why they are using dark magic. They are using, a, they might even be using like a voodoo practitioner. They're using a some sort of a practitioner. I don't know I don't do any of that black mat. I don't know what all of the different cultures are and what you can do. This person knows something, okay? I'm not sure if it's just like entities or if it's like if they know somewhere, someone somewhere on some continent, who knows? But they are trying to do chakra manipulation. I think most of all, like probably the crown, the third eye and the throat. Probably even like your, um, probably all of them. Like, look at this. They, they hate your happiness. So they're probably doing solar plexus and sacral as well, right? But they're definitely trying to implant into your mind, into your dream state, into your, the dream state can be another, you know, um, word for your subconscious. They're trying to implant themselves into your subconscious to make you trusting, to make you susceptible to emotion to make you susceptible to them and they're trying to cloak themselves at the same time in some sort of a catfish energy see the thing is they want to come towards you with an ace of wands more fire energy they want to make it look like though it's an ace of cups but they can't do it because that's not their energy. It's not their energy. That's why they're trying to trying to manipulate your subconscious like receptors so that they can implant themselves into you. Like I'm seeing like it's like like they think that like you're this like thing of jello and that when you're sleeping like they can come in and they can like put like a chip in you or something weird like that. I don't know. 
pay attention to the kind of dreams that you have. If they're w really disturbing, that's a sign. If you're having dreams about people that you've actually shut out of your life and then it's like, oh yeah, we're friends, that's a sign. Okay, you will know, you know what kind of dreams you normally have and what kind of dreams are not normal. So that's a sign that someone is trying to come into your dream state. Yeah. Tell me more about, tell me about the chariot. The eight of wands. Yeah, this is how they're trying to come towards you. And this is the energy that they're projecting at you. They're projecting a lot of energy at you because they're trying to confuse you. Seven of Cups. Tell me about the chariot. Justice. You've got air here and then you have Libra here. Justice. You've got a Queen of Cups in reverse and then you have a chariot, Cancer. Confirmation verb. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Ace of Coins. The Ace of Coins. Business. Your business. They're trying to give you a money offer. Why? Why are they trying to give someone a... Why am I even asking? Five of Swords, of course, right? What else? Five of Swords. Betrayal. Want to stab you in the back. They're trying to find a way to win at all costs. That's why, yo, and the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom. I'm telling you, they're coming back to your work, okay? They're coming to your work. They're trying to betray you at all costs. They're trying to give you a money offer, and they're and I swear to God they're coming in like a catfish because you have the Queen of Swords in reverse and the and the and the King of Swords. I really feel like this is a catfish, okay? So the Three of Cups, they might think that um, if you're a feminine, they might think they might be trying to. They're trying to match genders. So if you're a masculine, they're trying to come in as a masculine. Because they think that you will trust them more. Um, if you're a feminine, they're com they're coming in as a feminine because they think that you'll trust them more. Okay. Tell me more about this. Why is justice here? Fool in reverse. Why is the fool in reverse? Six of Pentacles. They're hoping that you do something. They're hoping you slip up in some sort of way. They're hoping that you do something um, without thinking about it. Six of Pentacles. They want you to take some money. They want you to take money. Ace of Coins. They want you to take an offer. And they're hoping that whatever this is, you don't think about it. They want you to think about... They don't... They want you to be naive. They want you to be foolish. They're trying to make you gullible okay they want you to be too trusting of others is there anything else that the collective needs to know the hank man a moment of enlightenment tower and the nine of pentacles so this might be a warning for someone out there <clears throat> if you have, <clears throat> if you got a message on your business, email, text, something, maybe even like if you have an online shop and someone bought something off of you and you had a weird feeling about that, this might be a confirmation for you that that person was a catfish. Tell me more about the hand man, please. Ten of Pentacles. Has something to do with a lot of wealth. Tell me more about the hand man. 
Nine of Swords in reverse. This is the Emperor. Who's This is this person who's trying to lie and pretend they're a Queen of Swords. They're trying to disguise themselves as a Queen of Swords. They're trying to veil themselves. <laughs> Why is this Nine of Swords reverse? Five of Wands. Yeah, they're not gonna they're not giving up fighting. They're just gonna keep going over and over and over again. Like they just they just always want think that they have the newest good idea. Nine of wands, exactly. They're just like, let's try again, let's try again, let's try again, we gotta try again, we gotta try again, we gotta try again, we gotta try again. Like they just they this person doesn't get tired. You wanna know why they don't get tired? Because they're full of fire energy. Yeah, pit of hell. Like, this is like the pit of hell that just doesn't, like, the flame doesn't die down or something like that. I don't know. The queen of wands. There's more fire here. Yeah, fire, fire, fire. This person has a fire within them that doesn't burn out. King of cups and the devil. So this might be the person that they work together with, okay? this Or this is two people. Who, who the hell knows? Three of swords reverse. I don't know. These, let's see. Yeah, this is what they're trying to mask themselves as. They're, they're actually full of fire and they want to look like they're a king of cups full of emotion, right? But no. Energy doesn't lie. And that's why this person is using like um, like a like a practitioner or like dark magic to, to try and mask themselves. So tell me about this Queen of Swords Reverse, please. Thoughts. Exactly. Courthouse. Yo, look at this. <laughs> look at this card. It's a man. Okay, it's a man. And he's thinking about how he can make himself look like a woman. I'm telling you, he's trying to make himself look like a woman. This is the same energy. This emperor is trying to make himself look like a woman. Look at this. Can you believe that, that that just came out like that with the Queen of Swords in reverse? He's like, hmm, how can I make myself look like this Queen of Swords? Hmm, well, let's just put a little brown hair on it and then we'll just, we'll just call her, insert name here, okay? Ah, oh, yeah, this is the perfect, this is the perfect. So now we gotta find a profile on LinkedIn, okay? I feel like, you know, that's something that they might be doing, okay? This was also a download that I got a while back. This person, if they use a lot of catfish, they might be using a site like LinkedIn or something like that to find the people that they're going to use to catfish, okay? That Because LinkedIn is full of like people that have businesses, okay? So they're trying to make themselves look like they're a legit person, right? So they might be going on a site like LinkedIn and finding people that have businesses so that they can just take all of their information off of LinkedIn, make themselves look real, and this is how they might be trying to come towards you, okay? Because then if you Google that person or whatever, they're like, oh, that's a real person. Look at that. Well, all they probably stole all that information off of something like that, okay? So that's for someone out there. I got that downloaded like a long time ago. But um, tell me about this three of cups here. Great fortune in reverse. Yeah, there's definitely a group here. They feel like they're not gonna receive a great fortune. I mean, courthouse did come out, so maybe this has something to do with court. They feel like they're not gonna receive a great fortune. That's why they're trying to come towards you here and make you an offer. A thief. It's a thief, yeah. So, what was, uh, what's the hang man? Yeah, this person is not an official person. Official person reverse. This person is trying to make themselves look like they're an official person though. Like I said, like a LinkedIn profile or something like that. This person does a lot to make themselves look like they're official, but they're not. I swear this is a cat, this is a, this is a like a, I wanted to say like a chronic catfisher, okay? Like this person might do this as a hobby. Like they might spend like countless nights on different like LinkedIn zing profiles, like 
just scouting and searching for the perfect catfish, like, like the perfect mascot kind of a thing, okay? Yeah. Tell me about this emperor here. House in reverse. Hmm, interesting. Why is house in reverse? Maybe that's that great fortune that they feel like they're about to lose. Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier, huh? So they're trying to make healthy choices now by dressing up like a woman, okay? Mm -hmm. Or they're trying to influence your decisions, your choices. They're angry because they're angry about your choices. Yeah, they're trying to influence your choices because you make healthy choices. Because you're happier, son, nine of cups. They see you being happier. Look at this. They see you in love with your life. Self-love, self-care, right there. That's This is self-love, self-care, right there, nine of cups. And this is what's making this person so angry. Okay. Yeah. What's this, uh, what's the three of wands? Thief in reverse. Yeah, they feel like they can't steal something from you. They feel like they can't steal something from you, but they want to, two of, uh, three of, three of wands, queen of cups in reverse. They really want to, they're really trying to figure out a way how they can steal something from you. Yeah, so why is this person, yeah, this mature man, this emperor here, this mature man, man, they're really trying hard. Poor, poor guy, right? Poor guy. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, I'm like looking at all these books up there. I'm like, oh, all, look at all these LinkedIn profiles. This is all the, all the characters they've played in their life so far, probably, right? Yeah, a message. This person might be sending you a message. She's like, huh. So which character are we gonna play today, right? This this guy. Which person, which face are we gonna put on today, huh? Yeah. Tell me about the uh, strength in reverse. High honor. This person is angry about high honor. Why? Why is this person all in their ego? Oh no, that's what they're trying to regain control over. They're trying to regain control over something with high honor. Coffee cup in reverse. Because you won't meet and converse with them. There's no friendship between you. You don't meet, you don't meet up with this person. You haven't met up with this person or you have not conversed with this person. And this is what they're trying to regain control over. With high honor? Yeah, some sort of commitment. They're trying to regain control over a commitment and a partnership. A commitment. A commitment to what? What kind of a commitment or a partnership are they trying to regain control over again? A Knight of Cups. Because they can't get close to you. And you don't see them like a good person because you keep getting away from them. You don't want to work together with this person. So they're trying to regain their control by trying to find a new way how to come towards you. Knight of Wands. Yeah. Here's this person again. This Knight of Wands trying to make themselves look like they're a Knight of Cups, right? Sun. Oh, and the Magician. Using magic. This is how they're trying to do it. They're like, let me just put a spell on you to make myself look like I'm something I'm not, right? I feel like he's going to need a lot more than magic to do that. Make himself look different, okay? Yeah, I just, the ancestors just said you can't cover up that stench, like, no matter how hard they try, okay? So... Maybe better luck next time, okay? So they're trying to regain control over some sort of a partnership or a commitment. 
Let's see. What is this um, Seven of Cups? Yeah, exactly. They're trying to confuse you. They're trying to tempt you into something here. They want you to hook up with them in some sort of way, but I don't feel like seduction. I feel like they're trying to interfere with something. They're trying to interfere with your intuition, with your judgment. They're trying to confuse you. They're trying to tempt you into something. What are they trying to tempt? What is this person trying to tempt the collective into? A marriage, a contract, a marriage, a commitment, a commitment. Why? Because you're because you're not because you're not with this person anymore. There's no relationship because there is no relationship here. But this person wants to be a third party so bad. They want to be a they just want to be a third party in your life so bad. They just want to be your friend so bad, but you don't you're not friends with this person. You don't want to have any because all this look at this. All this person cares about is money. They are just trying to find a way to betray you to get the ace of coins. Look at this. It's, oh, it's the same cards on top of each other. Oh, God. Oh. Guys, it's the same cards on top of each other again. Again, look, literally the same. It's the same. It is the same. So they're trying to get back in your energy because of money. They want the money. So they want the money. How do they want how do they think they're getting money here? This is yeah, they want the money. Knight of Pentacles. This is a plan. This is a money plan. They're trying to get close to you because they want the money. Okay. They want the money. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Gift. They want the gift. They want the gift. They want the... Whatever this gift is, they want it. Okay? Now tell me about this dream state stuff here. This two... Yeah, the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups just came out in reverse. They're trying to manipulate your emotions. Tell me about the uh, tell me about death. Imprisonment. With a page of cups. Wait a minute. They're hoping that a page of cups, because this is then the eight of wands and justice. So they're what? They're hoping that a an offer that they make you puts you in jail with death and imprisonment? How the fuck do they think they're going to be doing that? How do they think that an offer is going to cause an ending in imprisonment? Oh, look who's back, guys. Look who's back. It's the King of Wands in reverse. Oh, look at this. Look at this person here. Look at this King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles, guys. Okay. How does this person think that they're going to be putting someone in the collective in jail by taking a page of cups offer? I mean, yeah, because they're trying to bind you to something with the devil and the eight of pentacles at the bottom again. They're trying to bind you to something to do with your work, to do with money. That's how they're trying to put someone in jail. The empress, they're trying to put the empress in jail. They're trying to put the Empress in jail. This King of Wands in reverse. Look at this guy. Trying to put the Empress in jail with a with a with a contract. Tower. Tower and the Ten of Swords. With a contract? You have marriage here. And you have this one, commitment. So does this have something to do with a contract? Does this have something to do with a contract? Or what is the devil? death and the high priestess the high death and the high priestess something with a contract from the past something with this 
with the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is over here as well. Tell me about tell me more about this contract here. Tell me more about the devil. The privileged lady. A courtship. They're trying to bind you to a person, to a relationship with someone else. Two of Cups. They're trying to bind you to another person, to a relationship with someone else. Or they're trying to get you, they're trying to force you into a relationship with someone or into a commitment with someone. What's that? But they're doing this in like, yeah, journey. They're trying to put a fucking death to your journey. Photographs. It has something to do with a document. It has something to do with a signature. It has something to do with a piece of paper. Something tangible, photograph, the devil, contract. It has something to do with something from the past, a nostalgia. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to. I think this is gonna be the next crime hour, guys. Separation. Because of a separation. So you separated, you're, you've already separated yourself from this energy. You are completely separated from this energy. But they are unsure of their future. So they're trying to come back around, manipulate you, and then they're trying to get in your energy they're trying to make you an offer they're trying to do this even through your business because there's something with a contract there's something with some sort of documentation now and that's why they need to come back into your energy to betray you let me just get one more card on this what else do i need to know about this contract here that they're trying to come back towards the collective with here because you won't work together with them Because you won't work together with them. Because they can't work together with you. But so what does that have to do with the, the job? What does that have to do with the collective's job then? <laughs> Seven of Swords. This is them being sneaky. This is them thinking, okay, well, if you won't work together with us, then we'll just catfish you at your job. And then we'll just force you to work with us, right? Then we'll just force you because you won't know who we are. And then we can force you to do this because we're little scammers, right? That's what this is. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Six of swords. Walk away from this. Or you already did. Congratulations. If you did, you already walked away from this. So you might have already left this behind. So this is either... Okay. So either you already did this. You already saw through the illusion and you left this behind and you said, no, thank you. Okay. Okay. Good for you. This is a confirmation for you. But if this could also be a confirmation of someone else that does not know if something is a catfish, this is your confirmation. It is. Leave it behind. If it feels weird, it's weird. If it quacks like a duck, acts like a duck, it's a duck. Okay? If you just feel something off. Okay? Like the little things. The little things will make you feel like it's weird, okay? Yeah, you're going to have a moment of enlightenment, the Hank man. Something is going to tell you something is off here. It'll be, it's always going to be a little thing. But if something in a message or something from a client or a customer or whatever, there's always going to be a little thing that makes you think, that's strange. Something about this is weird. Okay. All right. So anything else before I close it out? <laughs> no, there's no. Nothing else. That's all. We got the message, guys. Ace of Swords. That was the message for today. So, yes. Ace of Swords. I have mental clarity about this. I know what I'm talking about. The star. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely... Okay. So that was the message, guys. 
That was the message for today. Nine of Pentacles. Walk away. Walk away from the little spy here. The little, the little spy. So let's see. Who is this that the collective is dealing with on angels? Somebody could be born in June. Oh, look, it's a Sagittarius. Just like I thought at the beginning. Is that my neighbor? A wife, okay? A baby mama could be involved in this. A father figure could be involved in this, okay? Your father may be, oh, this person could be a psychopath, okay? So your father might be a psychopath. This um, air and fire person here. A Virgo could be involved, or you're a Virgo. Or this could be someone's accomplice. A Cancer could be involved. So somebody's, somebody's um, accomplice could be a Cancer. Somebody's girlfriend could be a Cancer. A Witch. There's a practitioner involved. There's confirmation. Did you hear that? There's a practitioner involved. Tell me the sign of this practitioner. It could be somebody's cousin. Random, okay. Who is, a, who is this practitioner? Oh, this is definitely, yeah, Luciferian. This is a dark witch. This is a witch that works with this could be a Satanist, a Luciferian. This could be somebody that works with devil, the devil energy, that works with demons, okay? Or voodoo or something like that. This person could be born in December. Or this is what they do in December. Somebody's baby daddy could be involved. Yo, what else I'm getting with December is this is, what, what reading was that that I did? Oh, the Saturn. That they might have sacrificed you to Saturn. That might be the same person. So this practitioner that they work with could work with like, maybe the Roman god Saturn. Maybe this is who they try work with to sacrifice you in December. A Pisces could be involved. Who else is involved here? Or this person is a Pisces. Maybe this uh, practitioner is a Pisces here. February. That's Pisces, isn't it? Yeah, end of February is Pisces. So this Pisces could be a practitioner. This could be a practitioner. Informant. Hmm. A Libra couldn't be a Libra could be involved and karmics. Or this is a karmic Libra, this air sign masculine here. This King of Swords could be a karmic Libra. And you have Scorpio at the bottom. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. That was another long reading. <laughs> Longer than I expected, but it was important information apparently for someone out there. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah. I hope I could help someone out there, okay? And um, yeah, thanks. And then I'll see you on the next one. Bye.